The last race of the morning program gets underway. The second semi of men's quadruple skulls. And again, the six-boat lineup on the far side in lane one. Spain with the nucleus of the crew that uh, took sixth at Lucerne. Then the Americans, one survivor from their seventh place crew last year. The Australians, Austria in lane four, gold medalist from last year, surviving unchanged, so very much the crew to beat, and also gold medalist from 93, so they're looking to make it three in a row. Finland on their home territory in lane five, and the British quad in lane six. And 500 metres out, Austria established an early lead of just under a second of ahead of Australia, with Spain hanging on to the third qualifying slot. So once again, three to go through in this semi-final. All these crews knowing precisely what is required. And that is, do not come lower than third, whatever it takes. And we can see these three crews at the moment. Austria, Australia and Spain have gained a slight edge over the fourth place crew as they go through the 1,000 metre mark. Be desperate to give themselves a little bit of space so that they don't leave themselves with a blinding finish like we saw in the previous semi. To a man looking across at the opposition, the Austrians, watching the Australians. Curious uh, that the Austrians uh, did not in fact compete at Lucerne last month. I'm not entirely sure of the reasons for that. Uh, it would have been uh, logical to do so, especially as the Australians were there. Australians took eighth place there, so um, slipped out of the grand final there, but well, might come good today. Well, there's very little between uh, Spain at the moment in, four, in third and uh, Britain and the USA in fourth and fifth. Certainly no room for comfort. Uh, it'll be a fine achievement uh, if this uh, relatively young British quad can get through. At the moment, race being dominated by Austria, who looking very controlled out in front. Looking forward to a battle with the Germans in the grand final. Spain just eased through there, just kicked on a little bit. The Australians glanced across to see where Austria was, the bow man. He'll probably be passing down the odd command in the breathless fashion that goes with these coxless boats. Should see here with the 500 metre mark to go. Neck and neck between the US and the UK for the fourth slot. Both those crews pushing Spain and Australia. So as we boil down for this last race of the morning session, the second semi-final of the men's lightweight quadruple skulls, Austria lead in the first qualifying slot. Spain and Australia, second and third, being pushed hard by the US and Great Britain. Spain appears to have pushed on again. Give themselves that little bit of cushion. Austria looking slightly more tired than they did a little bit further back the course. Go through the 250 metre mark. 30 strokes to go in this last race of the morning session. The US a length down now. With Britain about another half a length behind them. So those first three places at the moment looking fairly comfy. Austrians looking rather composed. Settling down, just keeping an eye out, all sides. The US having a big go at Australia, but I suspect it's too late. So at the moment, the three qualifying positions held over that last thousand metres are Austria leading Spain in second. Fine push from the Spanish there over that last 500. Australia harried over the line by the US, who left their charge a little too late with the British challenge just fading away into fifth place. Bringing up the line, the home crew of Finland. Uh, Germany, Italy, Sweden, Australia, Austria and Spain. 
confirmation then of the result of the second semi. And that fast time of 5.57 from Austria. Spain in second place and Australia third.